Hello, hello, this is Mystic. This is Mystic, yes, let's get right in it. So I come to you today, I come to you today with the fire sign of the Sagittarius for the week of October the 24th through October the 29th. And this fire sign of Sagittarius, we start this thing off with your moon being in the love energy. You're loving on you and your love energy is the communicate. You're communicating in love. Your career is in an energy where it's great. Your stone for this week is the opal. And yes, your lucky number is 78. Your planet ruling is Saturn by way of Uranus. You're compatible with the Aries and the Virgo this week. So yes, Sagittarius, your inner strength can help you get through new positive opportunities, which can provide a sudden new direction in your finances. You're in an energy where your finances is on the move and they're on the move to improve. We'll start this thing off with the energy this week of the queen of swords you're in an energy this week sagittarius where you're intelligent you're perceptive you're professional you're in an energy where you're quick-witted and you're showing your attention to detail you're showing that you're independent and an organized person in this queen of swords energy yes in work you you are in an energy where your wishes will be fulfilled sagittarius you will reach your goals your boss will be will see will see that you have made strides to make things better he will see your dedication and your hard work you may get that promotion, darling dear, because you're in the in uh, energy of temperance. You're in that energy of balance. You show that you can do things in moderation with patience, my dear Sagittarius. And that patience show purpose and meaning. But most of all, you were tolerant. Most of all, you show that rhythm and that harmony, darling. And you adapt to that mental clarity because you show that self-control in this temperance energy. Hmm. You're in an energy where your personal life feels like it's happy now. You are no longer the victim of sleepless nights. You became impatient. You became irrational in this night of wands energy. Because someone of your love life betrayed you and was with others because they were in the king of the knight of wands energy. They wanted you and they wanted others too. And this put you in an energy of division. Your heart was broken. You were in discord. Your love life was interrupted. Yes. This was an energy where this person that you was dealing with showed you hasty actions, impulse, made impulsive decisions, and they also had addictions. So don't rush into anything when it comes to love, Sagittarius. This, this, this last love made you impatient, but don't make irrational mistakes. Being by yourself is better than being loved and being hurt again because you are the king you are the king of ven of pinnacles. Your advice everyone takes because you are in control of yourself. You show discipline. You show that you are a powerful being, Sagittarius. You show that you are career oriented. You always in that energy of money talks. And if it don't talk and if it ain't sounding right, I'm going to let that bullshit walk. I ain't no middle management kind of person. I'm a leader. I'm a secure leader. I'm wise and I'm patient. 
I'm in an energy where I'm doing me. I'm in an energy where I don't have time for Knights of Wands. This came in reverse. This Knight of Knights of Cups. Sorry. I don't have time for jealous people around me that's showing false feelings. That's moody and cynical. And it's a backstab, but I don't have time for that. I'm in the one where I'm trying to be in the energy where my love, my love life is blooming. I'm in the energy where someone treats me as the queen of the ace of swords that I am. I'm in an energy where I have new ideas when it comes to love. And I'm showing that mental clarity. Because I have determination to know that I deserve love. I deserve to be happy. I deserve that victory. And I'm showing victory over that adversity of my heart being broken. Says Sagittarius. I am entitled to truth and breakthrough in this ace of swords like energy. Yes, I understand that I attracted a page. That page hurt me because they show lack of progression. They show lack of plan. They showed that they was only in my life for the short term and they wasted my time. They wasted my talents. And now they are miserable. Look at that. The light went out. The light went out. Ain't nobody got time for that. These people trying to come back in your life. Um, trying to get back in your head again. Remember, you put you sheltered your heart. You thought about you. You got yourself together. You were in hermit energy. You did a introspection of you you went in solitude and took a self-reflection on i know i'm a better person what is this inter inner guidance that i need to make me better i'm gonna rest i'm gonna think about my situation and i'm gonna make it better i'm gonna soul search i need what do i need to do to make sagittarius better what do I need to do spiritually to get me together? What do I need to do to manifest? So I went and I retreated. And I went into an issue where I'm meditating and only thinking about me. Only thinking about the things that make me better in this hermit mode. However, here come the devil. Here come the devil. Here come the devil. And this might be an ex-person trying to come back into your life. They don't bring you joy. They don't bring you peace. Think about why you left this person alone. They did something to you to hurt you. And now they want to come back and say that they changed. They have not changed. They are still in a devil-like energy, Sagittarius. They are still in an energy where they, they, uh, they want to reclaim power. They are in an energy where they are now having downfalls. They are failing. They are in a stagnant and stuck-like energy. They are showing restrictions and bondages been putting on them. And it's not a pleasant feeling for this person. This person is prone to addiction. And they are still dishonest. And they are still prone to stab you in your back. And this person only sees one thing, sex, and they see another thing. They see lust also. Don't trust this person. This person come with devil-like energies. But don't worry about it because you are an emperor. You are one that can see through this bullshit. You are one of authority. You have structure and you done built this foundation. This strong foundation to listen to your intuition. This strong foundation to let the, let the divine guide you out of this bullshit. They done, divide, they done guided you. The divine done guided you out one time and continue to stay in this emperor kind of energy. Well, you're not going to deal with this. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Yes. What is... The prayer for the Sagittarius for this week.
So today's prayer is press toward the goal to win the prize for which the divine has called you for, says Philippians 3.14. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the chakra for the Sagittarius for this week? The crown chakra, protect your head. <clears throat> protect your head. Sagittarius, the crown chakra represents the the clear quartz, the milky quartz, the amhas, the Sharon. Spirit guides are Archangel Jophiel. Aromatherapy is the lotus, the spanking art, the sandalwood, and the sound of the crown chakra is the sound of none. The affirmations for the crown chakra. I am one with my higher self. I am one with the divine. I am love, forgiveness, and I am connected to everything. I am the light of the world. I open myself up to allow the universe through, to flow through me. The influences of the crown chakra influences the thoughts about compassion, ethics, connection, harmony, harmony, and devotion, peace, and enlightenment. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does the dice would like the Sagittarius to move? Take it easy, Sagittarius. Let your light shine. You are special. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe.